Hey everyone, welcome back to Low Luxury. We have a pretty wild one today. This video is actually gonna serve two purposes. And I guess I'll start this off by saying, uh, kind of bought something. It's on the bigger side, as you can see, and it's got Poshmark tape all over it. So here's what I did. Uh, I went and bought myself a ridiculous Gucci backpack off of Poshmark. And usually I would not advise this. Uh, Poshmark is just really sketchy overall for high priced items. There's fakes everywhere. But one thing that a lot of people don't know is that for purchases over a certain amount, Poshmark authenticates it for you. The item first gets shipped to Poshmark where they supposedly authenticate it and then they send it off to you, the buyer, or in this case, me, the buyer. So I bought this backpack, it was really cheap i was expecting it to not pass the authentication in which case i'm fine with it it would just get sent back i get my money back whatever but poshmark said it was real and i hope that's the case but it also gets me wondering how good is their authentication so we're gonna have to check this piece for ourselves so today we're both gonna check out this insane gucci backpack but we're also going to kind of authenticate the authenticators over at Poshmark and see if they're uh, they're doing their job well. So let's get into it. But first, I've looked into it and a very, very small percentage of you are actually subscribed to the channel. It's completely free. You just press that button and you will not regret it. Thank you so much. So first things first, we got to actually unbox this thing and see what they sent me. I hope it's a Gucci pack pack. That would that would be really nice to see. All right, time for the, the one-handed cutting skills. It's always hard because I'm holding the camera in one hand, and then let's hope I didn't just cut into the backpack itself. All right, here we go. Here we go. Opening it up, I see brown. I didn't order a brown backpack. What the hell? I'm just kidding. It's just paper. Okay. Interesting. So this is what I'm really curious about. So it says Posh Authenticate. We got a little Poshmark sticker there, and then this card, Posh Authenticate. Gucci, thank you for your purchase. Our luxury experts have confirmed the authenticity of your Gucci. Reviewed by Jim, Um, it, I don't know what the hell that says. Jan, <laughs> I don't know. It's all yours, ready to style. We hope you love it. Happy Poshing the Posh Authenticate team. I wish they gave more details of this. I wish they kind of like, you know how goat, they have like a checklist that they go through, stuff like that. I wish they did that, but all right. Well, I'm, I'm glad to know they've confirmed the authenticity of my Gucci. Okay. Stock paper going away, getting rid of it. Holy hell. It comes in a dust bag. That's sick. So as you can see, this is from the kind of like psychedelic GG print collection. It's one of my favorite recent Gigi collections that I can remember. I was just taken with it immediately, so I was super psyched to see this one listed. I will say it smells very smoky. Uh, I used to be a smoker. I won't hold that against anyone, but there's a lot of cigarette smell coming off of this thing. So I'm really happy to see that it came with the dust bag. That's really awesome. There's a little bit of stitching coming undone there, but I mean, that's to be expected. I won't hold that against them. The feel of it is like a really nice satin. I love that. And it's like double layered too. It's like nice and thick. It's huge as well. So let's open this up, start peeling this back. A little pink on the inside. I love it. And there you have it. Holy hell. All right, first I'm actually gonna tease you a little bit because I wanna take a closer look at this dust bag here. It's absolutely massive. I love that design. But one thing I really wanna know is are there any care tags inside this bag? Because actually Gucci is one of the only brands I've ever seen that actually put care tags inside their dust bags as well. And turning it inside out, I'm really happy to see that it does indeed have a care tag inside there on the inside. And this is exactly what I would hope to see. It's like a kind of thin papery tag with Gucci and gray on one side. And then all the other info on the back there. Dust bags are pretty much always made in China, at least from my experience. And we even get like a fabrication there. It's polyester. It's nice kind of like satiny polyester. I love it. 
And now we can finally take a look at this bag. And oh my god, it is insane, you guys. Holy shit. So I think this is like their, their coated canvas, it looks like. You can see the kind of canvas texture under there. And it's got that crazy psychedelic GG print, multicolored, super kind of day glow neon vibes. I love that. And then I believe this trim is leather. You can really see that leathery pattern in there. And first things first, taking a look at this stitching here, it looks really, really clean, really straight. There are no wonky stitches or anything, no weird lines or edges going down there. Even the stitches going over this bar is a really great sign, actually. The holes are really nice and uniform and clean. There's nothing messy about them. I'm really liking what I'm seeing so far. The hardware is metal, and it actually says Gucci in there. You get these dual cargo pockets on the side. So the lip of that is actually black, and if I undo this, whoa, that is a magnet. Sick, I love that. And it's magnetic, apparently. Ooh, that snap. That's a satisfying snap sound. And then the bottom here is coated in just black. You can see that it may even be reinforced or something. It feels a little bit more solid than the bag itself. And look at that line of that stitching. It's not an easy material to stitch, but that is really clean. And I really like to see the edges of this canvas. The cut of that is really clean. And then of course, this is a backpack. So we get some straps here. And you can see these are just your kind of typical backpack canvas material but you also have the back lined with mesh so that's a lot more comfortable to wear and then even the inside of the straps is also that black mesh and it's a pretty pretty wide opening to those holes there the webbing of it and then it looks like this counter here just for some extra reinforcement that is once again that black leather as is this little handle here, which I love to see. A nice little carrying handle, perfect. This middle right here is not branded, interestingly. I'll be curious to look into that. And these straps are just your really typical, like, woven thing. But then they go to this bit of leather reinforcement here, a little triangle, which again is nice to see. You'd think the fakes might kind of skimp on something like that. So seeing it here, I think is a good sign. Another cool thing is right around the lid here, it's kind of lined with leather. Another really nice touch. All right, let's open this up. So well, do I have to undo these or, oh, more, more snap, magnets, snaps? Come on, magnets, how do they work? They're magic, my friends. All right, here we go. So it opens up and it looks like it's totally lined and maybe a, a polyester or something like that. The inside of the lid has that typical kind of backpack material there. And then we get probably the most important part for legit checking this whole thing, which is this leather tab right here. So as you can see, it's really cleanly stitched in there. Again, love to see it. You've got a registered mark, then Gucci and made in Italy. But pretty much all the fakes of, of any quality will have that. The question is, what is on the back side of this? And that is what we want to see. You always want to see a serial code on here, like a model number. And we can look that up. And trust me, we will. We also have another little tag here. I haven't seen one of these before, but it's nice to see. So it's got Gucci. And then it looks like a model number underneath. So we can use that to legit check as well. I'm really glad they included that. As far as the rest of the inside goes... It looks like we've got a little kind of leathery thing with some Velcro here. Maybe a, it's like a laptop divider there. So there's a couple discrete pockets to it. And that just goes onto the inside there. It's kind of hard to see, but it's pretty nice and empty. You do have a little baby pocket for like a phone or something right there. Actually, a couple kind of layered pockets, I think. Yep. And right at the edge of the bucket here up top, we get a nice little drawstring here. So you've got a circle of leather and then a couple kind of shoelace type things and another little leather piece to keep them together. All this leather is a really good sign because leather is pretty expensive. So either this is a very high quality fake or it's the real thing. I'm hoping for the real thing, but if it's fake, it's a really damn good one. 
But like I said, I don't necessarily trust the Poshmark authentication team here, right? I am going to take some pictures and send them to real authentication because I've used them before. I trust them. They've busted some fakes for me in the past. So I definitely trust them more than I trust Poshmark. So let's take some pics and send them over and see what they say. All right, so this is real authentication. This is our website. Um, I don't know, they might have an app. I see it on an app here, but I'm gonna do it on the web to show you guys. I'm gonna go start authentication. And first up, we gotta start putting in our info. So brand, Gucci, popular as hell. They're right up top. Title for order, let's call it psychedelic backpack, okay? And category. There's no, I think handbag is as good as anything here. Additional options, add custom SKU so we can add these things in ourselves. Let's do it, we've got those numbers and our serial number. Okay, and then we get into the images. So they've got some pre-done ones here. I'm just gonna blast them with images so they have more than enough because in my experience, they tend to come back to me and be like, actually we want an image of this now too, and this and this. So I'm just gonna give them everything up front so they get it done as quickly as possible. So first we're looking for the front here, which is right there. All right, I think that covers it. That's a lot of backpack right there. So we're gonna save that and continue for our payment because we do have to pay for this, although it is very reasonably priced in my opinion. So we're gonna get the basic authentication, which is 30. They've actually upped their prices, that's annoying. And I would also like, in case I wanna resell this, I think $10 is very reasonable to have some documentation with it. So that way we will have our Poshmark authentication, we'll have our real authentication and a card with it. So when I resell this thing, I can guarantee that it's real and get the most money possible for it. Now I agree to the terms. I'm just getting the normal 24 hour turnaround. That's more than enough time for me to raise a concern with Poshmark if it's fake, if they say it's fake, um, but they can do it in 12 hours or if you're really going crazy and wanna break the bank, you can get a one hour turnaround on this stuff. But 24 hours, perfectly fine with me in this case. So let's do it. And there it goes. So now we just sit and wait. It's gonna be a long wait because I, I wanna know what's up with this thing now. And while we wait for that from real authentication, let's do some legit checking of our own. Let's go to Google and start Googling the deets, you know, see what's up with this piece. So let's just start really broad, Gucci psychedelic backpack. Ayy. So there she is. You can see the price that she's going for, even use. I don't know why I'm calling it a she. I guess uh, it's a she now. Her name is Agatha. The end. So now let's see, what site would be best for this? Hmm. You know, I kind of, this video seems like it'll be like a really good overview of it. We've got a couple videos here. Let's take a look at these. I like the kind of texture of it. That looks perfect to me. Yeah, even those look really good where the, the magnets are. Okay. Yep. That all looks correct. I've got those magnets there. Yup. Okay. And even that lining around there for the pouch looks great. Inside of that, dead on for what ours looks like. I love that. And there's our dust bag. Massive, massive dust bag. That looks just like ours. So that's really great to see. But she doesn't go any further than that. But everything from the outside looks perfect here. So now I think we have to get a little bit deeper into some of these kind of like uh, serial numbers and things like that. So here is the code that's on the back of my little leather tab inside the bag. Interesting. Nothing came up for that. It's possible that that could be like uh, unique to the piece, maybe? Nothing at all on images, okay. And then there's this one, the G030 number. The same crap comes up. It's like literally nothing. That's really weird, you rarely see that. I don't know. 
All right, so the model number stuff didn't really get us anywhere and I'm really not sure at all what to think about that. It's just not really something that has happened to me that nothing's come up. Usually it's either really good proof that it's real or really good proof that it's fake. It's rare that I have nothing show up. So I don't really know what to make of that, but I guess now what we can do is we can go back to psychedelic backpack. It's not showing up anymore, thanks and just look at some of the broader strokes like maybe we can find an example authenticated on grailed or something like that where they're going to have a lot of good pictures of the inside of the bag and the tags and stuff like that so we got walmart yep love getting this stuff from walmart that's great uh the real real that's interesting i wonder what they've got there more poshmark uh fashion file i think they authenticate their stuff so we can see what they've got there ebay i don't trust necessarily list vite cac is a good site that i don't know how to pronounce the name of but whatever vestiaire i'm not gonna yeah i don't trust vestiaire collective sorry um Brandville shop I've never heard of before, so I'm not going to go with them. More Vestiaire. Prestige Online. Yeah, never heard of you, so I'm not going to trust you. And that's kind of what we got. Gucci Hunter. That could be a fake site. More Real Real. Why not? Um, okay, I think that's all we're going to get here, unfortunately. All right, first up, the Real Real. Sold for $2,100. That's much more than I paid. <laughs> Thank God. Hey, it's a smart investment though, okay? Smart investment, whatever it is. And I actually kind of I kind of agree with that. I think it is a smart investment. Um, interesting, there's that tag coming out the back. I mean, this all looks pretty accurate to me. Like the, the texture of it, even the ends of that kind of like bolo tie thing that's going on. I like the looks of that. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, the outside of the bag is the outside of the bag. You know what I mean? That's probably what they're most likely to get good. Uh, the inside is where things get interesting. Man, that's a cool looking backpack. Okay, um, here we go. So we've got that leather counter here, and that's leather going along the top. Yeah, and these aren't branded as far as I can tell, which is great. That's one thing I was kind of worried about. It's got that mesh interior and the inside of the bag. Love to see that. Looks dead on, you know? I don't know. I'm getting a good feeling. It's, it's hard to say, though, you know? Here it is on Fashion File. They've got a good photo. This is a good looking photo right here. A little light shining off of it, that coated canvas. It's beautiful. Mmm. Mmm, that's a nice backpack. Okay, so this is interesting. The mesh has a bit of a shape to it here, it looks like. What's the deal with that? Oh, and you know what? I didn't even notice it, but mine has that. It's these little kind of, it's probably hard to see. These little ribbing like stitched lines going through right there okay so that's awesome i love to see that any pics of the inside Ooh, and this is kind of interesting on the side as well does mine have that little kind of stitch there look at that it do more things that i didn't notice when we were first looking at it okay here's the good stuff so we get the inside of the bag again i mean look looking good that velcro that's exactly what we've got yeah, that looks a lot like ours. 598140, hold on, hold on. I think, oh my God, I'm so psyched right now. Hold on. 598140, 493075. Yes! And we've even got this little tag down at the bottom. Holy shit. I think the backpack is real. Oh! I'm so hyped right now, you guys. Whoo! That would be a lot of waste of money if it wasn't. Uh, whew. This looks really good. Um, so I think I'm going to leave it there on a high note. I don't want anything to ruin this mood for myself, but I'll check back in with you 
when we get this answer from real authentication as well. And I'll do a little like wipe, it'll go like whoosh. All right, friends, we are back, not even 24 hours later, more like, I don't know, like 20 hours. So they were a bit ahead of schedule here. And our order has been authenticated. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that it is authentic. They're just saying they have completed the authentication and it's been reviewed, log in now to view your order's determination. So I got like some nerves going on here. I haven't even opened this yet. I don't know what's gonna happen. Let's view our order. Okay, submitted, second review. So they do two reviews, basic authentication. Includes an official authentic or counterfeit document determination. Hey, we're authentic. We're authentic. Oh, yes. Okay. Whew. Official documentation. This is the one other addition I made for an extra like 10 bucks. Auto generated certificate of authenticity slash written statement. Let's see. Let's see the official, official card that's telling us that this backpack is real. And there we go. Certified authentic psychedelic backpack. There we go. We've got our picture of it right there. We've got a certificate number. People can look it up and make sure this stuff's real. They can look at this thing. I'm going to download this, save it to my records. Whew. Okay. Poshmark authenticate. Um, it worked. They did it right. They said it was authentic and it is apparently we've now had a check by Poshmark and it's been double checked by real authentication. So I'm very comfortable now saying that it's real. I did my own legit check. So I'll add that we've done four layers of legit checking on this and it is 100% real. Hell yeah, I'm hyped. All right, and we're back here at an undisclosed later date. I'm just hyped, I'm, I'm living, I'm living free, I'm living fine in the knowledge that my backpack is 100% authentic, thanks to real authentication for that. And let me tell you why I was so unsure about that and why it was so hard for me to believe that this, this was real. Um, let's take a look at some of the elements of this listing. So there was one picture with this listing and it was a blurry photo in a car that didn't really show anything of value whatsoever. And that was it. That was it. The description, Gucci backpack. The end, that was it. So obviously under most circumstances, I would never buy this piece in a million years and I would never advise any of you to do so either. But just knowing that above that certain level, it's free authentication, I was like, fuck it. I'm just gonna buy it. And if they say it's not real, I get my money back. No harm, no foul. But it was a gamble and it actually paid off. Like I'm trying to figure out how any of this makes any sense. And I'm thinking maybe it's stolen or the guy selling it's like a drug dealer. It does have a certain odor to it of um, illicit substances that, that'll fade over time. Um, anyway, what, what, a, what a wild experience this has been. But I think I got to reward you guys and reward myself and, and do a little montage of wearing this thing and showing it off because it's so sick. So montage. Ooh. Ah, yes, yes. You see this thing? This is sick. It's so sick. It's big and bulky and I can fit all my stuff in it. Oh. Okay, there's your montage. I, yeah, what a backpack. All right, thank you guys for watching. Take a look at the other video on screen here. I've got a million videos on this channel. Like this video, and I'll see you guys next time.